and it is time for us to once again hold that exercise to come together to share our collective imagination and see where we want our community to head over the next 10 years. Yeah, well, an efficient community plan is the broadest policy document in the district, and what it does is it guides our land use decisions over, I would say, about a 20-year period. Um, but it's not just about land use, it's about establishing a vision for the community. Um, it touches on many aspects of our lives, from agriculture and food security, um, economic development and, and our jobs, where we live, our housing, um, affordability, our natural environment and our parks. So it's, it's a very broad document that um, helps our council make decisions around uh, land using and growth and development and what we want to become over the, the next 20 years plus. So your voice matters and your input matters. We gain the knowledge about the community mood by everyone participating. And so that's really our goal here. We need to hear from people that often don't get involved in these types of considerations and discussions around future growth and development. Often when we hear from people, it's in response to a development application uh, where you're, you're, you're personally impacted or it's affecting you know, in, right in your neighborhood. Well, this will help set the course for that and, and provide some guidance to council of what we want to become in the next, over the next 20 years. Um, so by giving your input now, um, when those future development applications occur, um, you can certainly have your input to help shape what those could look like. We want to make our community a clean place, a vibrant place. That is the most important thing. It's got to be a place where people feel at home. And once COVID is over, that they can get out in their community, they can partake, they can be active. Things like our active transportation plan are geared towards that. We want people biking, using the trails, and getting out in the community and being with each other. We're trying to provide a variety of ways for people to get involved in the project and provide their input to us. So one example is we have a community conversations toolkit where um, this will be available on our website and you can you can download it or, or print it off and have a conversation at your dinner table around the OCP project. What's important to you in this community? Um, you can have a conversation with your children, your grandparents, your, your friends um, and your neighbors, uh, social distancing obviously, and provide that feedback to the district. Engagement with our First Nations is paramount to this, this process. Um, this is their traditional lands, and we are one, one community in Central Sanitaire, so engaging them through this process and hearing what their goals and aspirations are um, over the next 20 years and beyond is, is such an important aspect of this, this project. I know that there's many people who have struggled a little bit to have their voices heard. Some have found really creative ways, and we appreciate that uh, during this pandemic, but post, we need to leverage both uh, in person and digital engagement uh, so that we get as much of the vision as we can again to uh, inform the collective imagination and the vision going forward in what I call our community plan. Go to Let's Talk Central and discover how you can get involved in the official community plan.